guys welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing hope everybody is doing well today brings us to another cold wet windy cloudy tuesday as you can see it's been raining and this is like the third one in a row i've gone out i think this is the third tuesday in a row i've gone out where it's just been crappy weather but that's okay that's not gonna stop us because it's tuesday and we got some great releases coming out uh i'm not really sure how much we'll see in store but one one that we will see in store i'm pretty sure at least i hope so is probably the biggest release of the week and that's spider-man i think it's no way home comes out that's got multiple releases there's a best buy exclusive steelbook uh we probably won't see that i did pre-order that though so we will see that at the end of the video there's no blockbusters around here that really carry or not blockbusters, blockbusters that's a throwback huh best buys that uh carry movies really around my area so i'm probably not going to go in there but maybe we'll see um but i got that coming in the mail so i can show that off at the end of the video um there's a couple new arrow releases coming out i know that robocop 4k came out so maybe we'll swing into barnes noble and see if that came out uh mary shelley's frankenstein came out on arrow today um there might have been another a criterion i can't remember if walker came out on criterion this week or if that's next week I'm not 100 percent sure so maybe we'll swing into barnes and noble and see if that's in there but otherwise we'll swing into uh walmart um i'm not sure if there's i'm sure there's probably a walmart exclusive for the uh uh, for this new spider-man movie i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll go to walmart we'll go to target kind of check out some NECAs, you know see uh see i uh, see what kind of uh, uh different spider-man versions there are because i think that's pretty much going to be the biggest thing we're going to see in stores so uh yeah guys uh it's my, probably going to rain somewhat soon so i'm going to try to do this video quick before it just starts downpouring uh so let's get going all right guys well our first stop today is going to be a target i went to a different target uh, one that was a little ways away from my house just because I haven't been here in a few months. And I basically came here because I wanted to check out what kind of NECAs they had because there's a few that I'm looking for that I'm having a hard time finding. And other targets I've been to around my area haven't had them. So I just kind of wanted to get a, a new target, you know, uh, to see if I can find uh, some of the specific NECAs. So let's go see what they got. Oh, guys, this is definitely not a good sign. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. They have all the signs, but nothing out. That's pathetic. Well, that was the quickest trip in and out of uh, Target probably ever. Uh, I remember why I don't go to this Target. Because it sucks ass. Every time I come here, it sucks ass. I completely forgot about that. Every time I come here, they never have their new releases out. They never have NECAs. It was pathetic. They had nothing. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and you guys don't have a single new release out. This target sucks ass. It's ridiculous. And I and it's a way out of my way. And I remember now, I'm gonna remember, this is why I don't come all the way out to this target because it's horrible. So let's go find another store that doesn't suck ass. This target, you suck ass. All right, guys. Well, just above this car here, you can see we're at Walmart. So, yeah, let's see what Walmart has. I mean, they really don't need to do much to uh, to beat Target. All they really need is, like, any new release. Like, even one copy, even in the wrong spot, would beat that last Target we were at. And another thing I noticed when we were at that last Target, they didn't even have any of last week's releases out, like Scream. They didn't have any of that. I think the newest thing they had out there was Sing 2 on the very bottom. But that's been out for and they've been out for like two or three weeks already so yeah they, they didn't even have like last week's releases out so i don't know what's going on with that target but i've learned my lesson i uh i'm not gonna be going back there anytime soon but let's head into this walmart uh i usually have pretty good luck here they're usually pretty good here so let's uh let's go see what they got all right look target this is how it's supposed to be done look at this this is how you fill your shelves so all right so we got the blu-ray Looks like you got a three movie pack, thirty four ninety six. You got the four K, twenty seven ninety six. Another release. I don't know. This is a Walmart exclusive right here. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Um, they got the No Way Home Spider Man regular release for twenty seven ninety six. Blu Ray. You got it for twenty six or twenty two ninety six. More Blu Ray. And you got the DVD for seventeen ninety six. It's pretty cool. So they got the Scream here too from last week. They didn't have that exclusive for some odd reason. 
the exclusive for this Walmart exclusive was only in online but but yeah, they definitely have all their stuff, which is awesome. And a cool little display up there. So, Bravo Walmart, so far you win. Anything else come out? Um, no, they still have plenty of the Sings, some Venom. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know if I've uh, showcased these yet before, but these are really cool. They have these really cool, uh, like, covers. They're not really, like, covers. They're more of just, like little cards that go on there but they're kind of cool though you got the uh, got the riddick the matrix fast and the furious it oh got it right down there nightmare on elm street like is that these blu-ray is this dvd well i think it's dvd that's kind of cool though i like that nightmare on elm street one you got tremors smoking the bandit Goonies, Wizard of Oz, American Pie. American Pie. Those are pretty cool little uh, covers. I like those. This is pretty cool. Jimi Hendrix, Funko Pop, 1988. I don't know if that actually comes with like an album. Oh, it's in like a hard case. That's pretty cool. These Funko Pops are getting huge. Look at this. I think I showcased these ones before, these little garbage pail kid stuff. These are really popular when I was a kid. It looks like they're really kind of making a comeback. <laughs> Those are kind of cool, but $14.96. I think I'm gonna pass. These are cool. Like the creature from the black lagoon. The creature from the black lagoon. I'm sorry I can't talk today. I've shown this before, the uh, toxic toxic avenger. The mole people. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Is that like the conjuring or something? Oh the nun. Let me get this Friday the 13th set, which I see here all the time. And I'm not exactly sure what you get in. It's $25. Oh, I see. Okay, so you get... Or you get like a... Okay, you get like some sort of coin, um, vinyl decal, a hat, a mask, and a bag. It's kind of cool if you're a hardcore Friday the 13th fan. This one's cool. I might pull the trigger on this today. I've seen it a few times and I kind of want to get it. It's the only one out of all of them that I really want. I mean, the rest of these Batman ones are kind of cool, but I don't know. This is the, I really only collect horror Funko Pops. And this is the uh, only one that's like closest to like a horror character in that movie. So I may pick this up today. We'll see. I can tell you what I won't be picking up is a Fallout Boy Funko Pop. We're just going to leave that crap on the shelf. Oh, look at this, guys. This is kind of cool. A little Scorch Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, it's like a bobblehead. That's pretty sweet. See, it looks like we have another ghost face. A ghost face bobblehead. That's pretty cool as well. I like that. The one cool thing about Walmart is they always have a lot of these cool kind of NECA things. Got some more Ninja Turtles. They don't really carry too many of the horror ones. Like, they've had these same King Kong ones forever. But Super Shredder is pretty cool. This T2 one is kind of cool. But they do have the Predator 2. What does this one look like again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Hmm, maybe. I think I'm going to wait and just get the NECAs that I've really been looking for, though. These things trick me every time because they put them in this, like, section that looks like it's, like, a discounted spot, but they're definitely not. They're, like, $40 for those. And they don't... They always kind of fool me with these little end display things, but... I already fell for it once. I'm not going to fall for it again. Oh, this is cool, guys. Look at this. Little, uh, Dracula Universal Monsters. Is this NECA? Um, oh no, Bendy Figs. I, mean, I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool anyway. Optimus Prime. This is, these are these things are pretty cool. I like them. These little uh, I don't know if they're like enamel pins or what they are, but I think those are pretty cool. Here's another one of those garbage pail kids. Oh, I didn't even see this. So we got some more Gremlins here. I got a buddy who'd be huge into these. It's like a notorious bad G, but he'd really be into this one he's a huge tupac fan he would uh wonder if he knows that these are out i might have to let him know 
<laughs> that's pretty terrifying. I think that's been on for a while, but I don't think I've ever seen this Lantern's Lane. I wouldn't want to run into that guy. That guy looks freaking freaky, man. Or on the third day, that's another one I don't think I've seen here before. Oh, that's right, this came out too, this Chucky season one. I was not really a big fan of that. I kind of felt like it, uh, it wasn't really what I thought it was gonna be. It was it was okay, but it's probably nothing I'm gonna be picking up. I don't really see anything else here. Oh, they still got one of these dunes from quite a few weeks ago. One of their exclusives. This I always thought was kind of cool. 30 bucks is not too bad. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, this is another one too, this come on, come on. Uh, with Joaquin Phoenix. I kind of want to do uh, check this one out, but it's one that I think that I would wait for like Blu-ray Which would be kind of cool. I see they still have some of the uh, new Vestron dream a little dream That's their latest title from them. I believe I don't think they put anything out after that My sweet monster It's kind of a cool cover. I like that Oh, look at this guys We got the uh, Ghostbusters soundtrack on vinyl. What are they charging for this? 20 bucks, that's not bad. That'd be kind of cool just to even just to display in my room. I didn't know that they re released that. That's pretty awesome. These are new too, guys. I've never seen these before. These killer clowns from outer space. And hiding behind here, they got a little. Oh, that's a cool Frankenstein. I like that. I wonder how much that is. That's pretty cool. And this is also really cool. Little Bob Ross. I think he's more becoming more famous now since he's you know not around anymore than he was when he was actually alive and doing stuff. It's kind of funny. Uh, Bob Ross is becoming very very popular. All right, guys. Well, we just got out of the Walmart. I love that Walmart. I swear, every time I go there, they always have their stuff stocked. Their new releases are out. They always have really cool figures and a whole bunch of just movies and more movies and more rows of movies. I really am a fan of that Walmart. And they, they won. They they cleaned up. They had their Walmart exclusive. They had the DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. They did really well. I was very happy to see that. Unlike that first Target. That first Target needs to take some advice from this Walmart on how to uh, stock their shelves. But yeah, no, it was awesome. They had everything in there. Uh, they had the new Chucky out there on DVD. I didn't see any Blu-ray or anything like that. And I saw that Come On, Come On only on DVD. I think all those came out this week. And yeah, just a lot of cool figures, and yeah, I love this Walmart, it's great. So, uh, I think I'm going to head out to another Target, because I'm not going to let Target, I'm not going to let it fail like that. we got to give them another shot. So let's go to another Target, and let's see if that one can do any better. Alright, Target number two, it's up to you, buddy. Last Target failed me, so, which means you got to step up. I mean, even if you don't have everything, you just need, just, even just, just one copy of spider-man just just so i know that you guys are at least attempting to do your job um although this target's actually pretty good i give them i give them a lot of hard time i give target a hard time but this one's actually pretty good so uh let's go in there let's see if they got the stuff out usually they're pretty good so let's go see what they got and they usually have some NECAs too so let's see maybe they restock their shelves all right well you already have this up in your front part so this Target has already beat the other Target. So they have it up here set for $24.99. Blu-ray $19.99 DVD. And on sale $27.99 for 4K. All right, guys, so this Target went all out because they have a whole display here. They got the Fun Art uh, 4K Target exclusive for $27.99. Blu-ray, we went through all these up front, but yeah, they have a whole stand here. This target really pulled through. Cool artwork on the side. They also got it here with this cool little side, but they have this whole section. This target did awesome. This is on sale $22.99 on Blu-ray. Like I said, we covered all this, but I kind of want to get this. The, uh, they're exclusive, that's pretty cool. The Come On, Come On for $16.99 on Blu-ray. That one came out today. We saw the DVD at Walmart, so it was pretty cool to see that they had this here on Blu-ray for $16.99. I might pick that up. I do want to see it. Here's the other side, too. So, yeah, they uh, this Target cleaned up on the Spider-Mans. Neck is, unfortunately, they always kind of look like the same. Same stuff I have. I don't think they really refilled it. Although, I have been looking for this one at some point. I don't think I'm going to get it today. But yeah, they're all the same. 
That Gremlins is kind of cool. I should get some Gremlins ones. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, get this out of here. Yeah, go put them back there. Those belong in the garbage can. This is another one too, eventually I'd like to pick up. I do like how you get different colored uh, screen masks in there. I'm probably gonna wait, but I would like to get that one eventually. No, this is one too that I do need maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna wait on that though. I do want that. All right, target number two. Way to pull through. Man, they had it in the front little stand in front of the store. They had their own little Spider-Man stand back by the physical media. And they had their whole physical media new release section in the back completely filled. Way to go, guys. That was awesome. Uh, their NECAs, it's kind of the same ones they've always had before, but uh, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I was just happy to see that they went all out with the Spider-Man movies, man. There was not a shortage of Spider-Man movies there. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny. With all the choices you have, you have the 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD. Like, when I was there, most of the people were taking DVDs. You'd think a movie like that, I mean, maybe they don't have the capability for it, but you'd think a movie like that you'd want to have in, like, the highest resolution. You'd want to, do, you, know, you know, at least Blu-ray, um, if not even, you know, 4K. But it's just kind of funny. Like, when I was there, I saw, like, two or three people take it, and every one of them took the DVD. So I just thought that, I found that to be kind of humorous. But, uh, but yeah, no, yeah, they pulled through. Way to go, Target number two, man. But, like, this, like I said, this Target's usually always really, really good. Um yeah it's busy in there too man tuesday nights i guess i don't know we're supposed to be getting some severe weather and in a couple of days it's supposed to be like 50 mile an hour winds and snow and so maybe people are just stocking up on some food now so that they don't have to go out during uh crappy weather later tonight and and uh on thursday but uh yeah they did awesome it was great um so i may swing up to barnes and noble i haven't decided yet because if i go up to that barnes and noble I almost should probably hit up the Target also that's across the street. Or I might just go home and show what I picked up. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but either way, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Well, we're back at the house. I decided not to go to uh, Barnes & Noble. And um, and because I knew I was going to end up going to that other Target too. And it was really starting to rain pretty heavy. And it was getting late. And I had to get this video edited. So I figured... We went to that first Target, it was a bust. We went to the uh, Walmart, which was good. And then we went to the last Target, which was really good. So I figured that was enough. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick what I picked up this week for new releases. And the first thing that I got is I did get Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, the Arrow release. It's pretty cool artwork. I like that. I have never seen this version, so I look forward to checking it out. Just a standard release, not a special edition or anything, but... Still pretty cool. I like the fact that um, that they're thicker. These cases are like thicker than normal 4K cases when they do like the Arrow releases. I really like that. I've, I've decided. I thought I'd share. <laughs> okay. Moving on. The next thing I got uh, is, a, is another Arrow release. I got the Arrow Deluxe Edition. Uh, this, the limited edition too of the 4K release of RoboCop. I love that artwork. I missed out on this the first time it came out when it was on Blu-ray. And so I decided I'm going to uh, pick it up on 4K this time. I've actually already opened it. I watched it last night. So I will be doing um, an unboxing, sort of an unboxing. It's already been unboxed, but I'll show you guys what's all inside and I'll give a little review on it. So look forward to that video probably at some point this week. So um, yeah, it was pretty cool. I didn't see this movie in a long time. I forgot. It's, it's a lot of fun. I really do like it. So, yeah, it's a cool release. We'll talk about it in another video. And and the last thing that I got as far as physical media is concerned is I did pick up the uh, Best Buy uh, Steelbook exclusive of Spider-Man No Way Home. I wasn't going to get I wasn't going to get it at first. And then I looked at it and I just realized, like, that's like the cityscape there and i just realized that it's just a badass uh steel book and the more i look at it uh um 
just uh, like, as, you know, like live instead of like, you know, on the internet. It is really cool. This sucker sold out fast too. I think, I think it's already sold out. I think it was sold out during pre-orders. So I'm glad I was able to get my hands on it. So, um, yeah, take advantage of those steelbooks if you want them. Uh, speaking of steelbooks, um, the Batman 4K steelbook, exclusive steelbook and Walmart exclusive and regular standard Blu-ray and 4K are all up for pre-order now. So Best Buy has the steelbook. Um, I don't know if it's still available or not, but they have the steelbook up for pre-order. Walmart has their exclusive, which is kind of cool. It's like a little, it's just a standard movie, but with like a little box set that you can open up. And it comes with like a little poster type deal that comes with a little hanger thing. And it was kind of cool. It wasn't even that much more um, for their exclusive. So I thought that was pretty cool. But um, so yeah, if you want that stuff, especially those steelbooks, and they're cool, you know, and you know, they're going to be in, like, high demand or for, like, really popular movies. Get them as soon as you can because they usually sell out just like this one did. So I was able to get my, I was glad I was able to get my hands on this. Now, the last thing I picked up is not physical media, but I saw it. I figured um, at the end of last week, I picked up a smaller version of one of these. It was a little different, but it's the same character. So I thought I'd go. Then I saw this there. It wasn't too expensive. I thought it was pretty cool. So I went with the, uh, the Stay Puff Scorched bobblehead i just thought it was kind of cool you know and you can see there they got it's like a little cityscape we're gonna open it up here in a second we'll take a look at it um but there's the side there's the back gives you kind of a closer look at the uh the little city there and it says it's the state of marshmallow man so i thought that was pretty cool i figured i'll pick it up and i saw it online they're actually quite a bit more expensive online so I'm glad I picked it up, but uh, let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's kind of being a pain. Bear with me, guys. Ooh, lots of styrofoam. Oh, this is kind of cool. Let's look at this real quick. Oh, it shows you a lot of the other bobbleheads that are available. Eh, look real quick if you guys are interested. The one that I think is kind of cool that I should, I'd should like to get my hands on is the, that Dracula and that Michael Myers. The two on top there. I think that would be kind of cool. And this is just, I don't know, something different, something else. Okay, I was not expecting there to be tape on this. I was just kind of thought it was going to be closed. So I wonder if there's... I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. All right, we got the tape off there, so we'll open this bad boy up. Oh, it's all wrapped up in plastic. It's kind of cool. Keeps it nice and safe. Oh, it's really in there. They keep it nice and protected in there. I like it. Oh, it's it's heavy. I guess I didn't really realize. Oh wow, it's like it's really heavy. It's pretty cool. Delve in here. Yeah, this is like this is thick. This is well made. This is no cheap thing. It's like ceramic. All right, guys, and here he is. Do a little of the old. Uh, uh, it doesn't. Oh, you know what? I know why. <laughs> Hold on. There's more of it I got to unwrap. All right. There we go. Get that out of there. Yeah, it's. Doesn't really matter to me too much how much it does because I'm just going to keep them on display. But it's kind of cool. Let's see if we can get down in here, but you can see, kind of see, like, there's the cars, kind of crush all the way around. This is cool. You got a car back there, and then if you can see here close behind here, you can see that the building is, is like, torched, too. The building is torched there, stepping on a car. That's pretty cool. I really like that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, kind of an impulse buy, but I thought, I don't know, I liked it, so I picked it up.
<laughs> All right, guys, so the last thing we're going to do today is I'm going to give away the code for Scream 2022. I watched it the other day. Um, I was going to do a review on it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. I had some thoughts on it. But uh, overall, I mean, it's a Scream movie. You know, it's there's, this one's really not much different. But there's a few things we could talk about. But I, uh, I'm just going to give away the digital code because I'm not going to use it. So um, first come, first serve, I guess. It looks like the code is valid to... Ooh, this one lasts a long time. Um, looks like April 5th of 2024. All right, guys, so here you go. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.